Okay, we're joined this morning by Tom Malone. Now, Tom, you're a bit of a fitness fanatic. I've been following on social media. I see you do the equivalent on your bicycle of uh, Lands and John O'Groats every morning before breakfast. But <laughs> David's had you in doing some proper work this morning. You've been riding out on the Pond Heights Gallops. Yeah, well, it's nice to be back. Um, I'm allowed in once every six months, I'd say, just to ride out a few. Uh, I thought Saturday morning was lovely. We've been buying a lot together, myself and Dave. And so it's nice to come and see how they're progressing and to hear Dave's words about them really too, so quite promising. I mean, obviously you were a, a terrible conditional jockey in your time. Um, so, you know, you're back on the Pond House Gallop, so what's it like to be back? It's brilliant, it's great. Uh, good bunch of people here. The uh, crack has been nine this morning, so it's been brilliant. Good laugh and a joke. Good, good. And uh, fortunately for you, obviously you're uh, in your new reincarnation as a, a, a bloodstock uh, agent. You're, uh, you're moderately successful. And uh, you've bought literally several winners for trainers up and down the country. Yeah. So uh, have you got one to follow from, uh, from Pond House for the season ahead? Yeah, well, i got two. I've got one from Pond House and one from another yard. And this lady here is a mare called Maggie's Mogul. Oh, she even pricked her ears when she heard her name. Uh, she won her point of point first time out last year on unraceable heavy ground, which I don't actually think suited her to her best. And she still managed to get away with it and won. Uh, we expect her out soon enough in a bumper at some stage, but she showed a lovely attitude, jumps for fun, um, nice pedigree, and one I'm very much looking forward to for the season. Okay, and you mentioned one from another stable, which yeah, was that? Yeah, one of Paul Nichols. He's called Pozo Emery. He's by La Harve, and he'll run probably in a maiden hurdle in about four weeks' time. Uh, he's owned by Andy Stewart. He's another that was second in the maiden point of point, didn't quite win it because he went to a stamina, stamina sapping course and he showed so much speed and boot he probably got caught out the last three furlongs but there are my two maggie's mogul from pond house yeah, that's brilliant man. tom thanks for uh, thanks for joining us this morning and uh, we'll look forward to losing our money on your selections over the winter well done